Hey guys and what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. We're doing another makeup haul because why not? Really? It's honestly the only reason I buy makeup is because why the hell not? It's a collective haul, nothing in particular, bits and bobs from everywhere. If you do like hauls, I do. Subscribe, like the video. I'm just going to show you the shit I bought. Number one, this is not sponsored at all, but letting you know, Flower Beauty is now available at Chemist Warehouse throughout Australia. If you do want to sponsor me, let me know. I'm grab a few things from Flower Beauty, the first being this one, it is their Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. It's cute. It's got three different shades in it, and I appreciate the fact that they're relatively in the same zone, but different shades. Whereas a lot of highlighting palettes out there, I have cat fur on me. Ugh. You'll find like a super pale one that really is only going to do the palest of skin and super darks that are only going to do the darkest of skin. And in my opinion, if you're not a makeup artist that does client makeup, you're not really going to need that variety of tones for one skin tone. I'm pale, I'm white, so those skin tones are right there. They're going to be pretty perfect for me. Unfortunately, this is the only shade available, so if you're anywhere apart from what I am, it's not the best of luck. I do apologize, my lighting is going. I don't usually film out here, I usually film in a studio-ish thing. But I wanted to change it up today, so you're gonna get a little bit yellow toned and a bit of bad lighting today. Next up, I just got my Revolution Beauty makeup haul in. I grabbed the new primer, because it's priming as life for me. I grabbed the Pore Blur, Blur and Prime Primer. That's simple as it, it's just a gel based. I think they're trying to knock off the Professional. Um, I've never tried Professional. Because it's expensive as hell. This was $11. Hoping I pill fill some of these crater pores in. I finally grabbed the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. It looks really good. They have some fantastic reviews on the website and all over Instagram and YouTube. I grabbed the shade F7. Kind of wishing I grabbed F6 because it looks a little bit dark for me. I can make it work. A little highlight here and there. You can make it work. Um, but I'm very excited to test this guy out. Over to the very, very affordable side, we're going to Kmart. I grabbed the OXX Eyes Metallic Eye Pigment and Liquid Fix. Now, it looks very cheap and crafty, but uh, it just has like a silver pigment. I actually grabbed a silver shade and it has a li liquid fix. So you drop it in, mix it up, and it becomes like a metallic liquid. So I'm very interested to see how this works. Again with Kmart, again with OXX, they just brought out a new range of their makeup. It is the Active Beauty range. Essentially, they're trying to go for the same thing as Elf's done. They have an active range. They've done the same thing. I grabbed the Cooling Primer. It's got sweat resistance, cooling, hydrating, blah -de blah It was very affordable. That's why I'm going to try it out. From the same range, I grabbed their Active Beauty Cool and Hydrate Setting Spray. It has aloe vera, vitamin E. It pretty much has everything the primer has, but in a more liquidy form to set your makeup. And I think the last thing from Kmart that I got, same thing, same brand, it is the finishing powder. Now this doesn't technically say it is a setting powder, it says it's a finishing powder. I'm always interested to try new powders because it's Kmart and I'm addicted. And the next product's from Flower Beauty and I have to say I'm a little disappointed in the packaging because it's just so goddamn bulky. It is their satin finishing powder. Again, a finishing powder, not a setting powder, but it's so... Who's gonna take this traveling? You're never gonna take it anywhere except it's just gonna sit on your makeup counter and never leave. It's just a bulky ass packaging. Kinda reminds me of what grandma's had in like the 40s and you like had that like giant powder puff and you puffed your face with it. Reminds me of that, which is a bit nostalgic. Not for me, but for grandma's I guess. But, you know, unnecessary, uh, unnecessary packaging on this one. Our beauty item, they brought out some brow products. This is the Tattoo Effect Brow Stain. Now apparently it's claiming to be 12 hour wear and smudge proof. Now those are two items that I would appreciate in a brow product that's affordable. I think this is $10, not bad. I grabbed Espresso. This is the last item I got from Flower Beauty. I grabbed their Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. Now this SPF 18, I grabbed the shade Natural Beige. Now the, I'm, I don't mean to have a go at Flower Beauty, but your shade range sucks. I don't know if it's just in this one chemist warehouse that I found the shades. There was like five shades and they range from white to slightly less white. 
that was it. If you're any woman or man of colour, no. But I did like the idea of it. It's supposed to be natural, luminous makeup. It sounds really nice. They all seem to have some pretty okay ingredients in it, including sunscreen. I'm always for that, but I do wish the shade range was a lot more better. It's just better is a nice word. Your girl went to Sephora and she picked up the new Stunner Lip Paint in Unattached. I was going to go in there and get the hot pink one, but then I saw they have a coral shade and got super excited. It is just this beautiful coral shade. I love the formula of Stunner Lip Paints. Just this shade is just calls out my name. I grabbed another Fenty product. I grabbed their new Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 185. I have never tried their Pro Filter foundation, so I'm really excited to try their concealer out. This was the last one of my shade. The girl had to go back to the back of the stock room to find it. So thank you, lady from Macquarie Sephora. I didn't actually grab your name, but thank you. In my last Mecca Beauty loot box, I grabbed, well, I got, I didn't really grab it, it was free. Um, the Steeler Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. Um, I've heard some really good things about liquid lipsticks from Steeler, and it's free, so I won't complain. And whilst I was actually getting my free beauty lip box, I was paying for something else. The Mecca Cosmetica brand from Mecca, they brought out a new shade of their Enlightened Powder. This is the shade Gold. I already have their original. They actually have a darker skin tone one as well. This one, I'm super excited because I do find the original is beautiful. It's a gorgeous color. It's just, it can be a little bit too pink toned for some looks, whereas this one's gold. It'll go with most looks. Pretty sure this is the last thing that I got that isn't Makeup Revolution, so we're gonna show you the Sports Girl. This is their Beauty Palm Springs eyeshadow palette. It was $25, that's the main reason I got it, because I was like, who is enough for an affordable eyeshadow? But then I had a look at these shades. Hello, pretty. It has some stunning shades. You've got your pop of colors, you've got your mattes, your metallics, you've got your warms. Is this not summer in a palette right here? $25. It's just a it look stunning. Can't wait to dig in and play with it. And it's just so pretty. Do apologize for lighting, we're getting a little bit dark in here. Next, pretty much all of these products are from Revolution Beauty because it's just what's in the box. I grabbed the new foiled frenzy eyeshadow and oh my golly gosh, this palette looks freaking stunning. I'm gonna do a swatch because I was that excited before so I did one and I know how impressive this is. They look pretty there, but look at this. They just keep going. The swatches are absolutely insane. And it's so pretty. I'm always after a multi-use product. So when the High Heart Revolution brand came out with a multi-stick pen, I was like, hell yeah, this is actually out a while ago, but I was just forgot about it. Um, I got the multi-liners. It has one lip and three retractable liners. I'm assuming that means eyeliners. It doesn't have a shade on it, but they're pretty much like your neutrals and your dark shades for eyeliners. Super excited because this is just so nostalgic with that pen from high school and you used to click it for different colors. But I'm very excited because it's multi-use and it's travel friendly. I'm a big fan of cream contouring at the moment, especially in the summer or the warmer months. And it's going to be happening in the winter months because my skin dry and it appreciates cream contouring. I grabbed the Makeup Obsession Contour Cream in 107 Light. I just thought it wasn't too much darker than my skin tone, but enough to make a difference, but subtly. So I'm all for that. And Obsession Makeup is so affordable. Like even at full price, no discount, ridiculously affordable. I always find when I do makeup hauls that I get super excited and energetic because I'm like showing makeup and I freaking love makeup. But then I look back when I edit and I'm like, calm the fruitcake down girl. You need to calm down you look ridiculous. So if you're watching me for the first time, I'm excited because I love makeup. Another multi-use product. This is the Freedom Bronzed Professional. This is Shimmer Lights. It is a try one. We've got bronze, blush, highlight, all in one. Very affordable. It's in the sale category at the moment. I think it's $4.50. Super excited to play with it. Now, if you do watch me on any of my social medias, you know that I love special effects makeup. And finding affordable special effects makeup is damn hard. It's really hard to find good, cheap, Special effects. I know you should invest in special effects makeup, but I haven't got to the point where I can do that yet. But Revolution has a special effects category and they have a white setting powder 
and for someone that does a lot of face paint and needs like that highlighted effect for different areas a white face paint or a white powder will come out very handy and it was so cheap I think it was a dollar because it was the Halloween category going back to bronzers because I love me a good bronzer the new revolution beauty mega bronzer I got the shade 02 warm and it is damn right warm. I'm hoping it blends out really nicely. It feels super, super buttery, a little bit powdery. So I'm interested how that'll go with my dry skin. But for $9, it's probably the better one on the market at the moment. This next one is from Katie Price, but still on the Revolution website. It is the Katie Price Baked Highlighter in Warm. The only thing I will disagree with is this shade is not necessarily warmed. If anything, I find it cool toned because it's quite pink. But it's really cute and I think it's in the sale category as well and I've never used anything of Katie Price's brand before so that's exciting for me. I think we're on to the last product. I grabbed a baking powder. This is the Banana Bake in Light by Revolution Beauty. Um, yeah, I've just seen a lot of good things about their baking powders when their whole like baking and setting range came out. So I didn't want to get translucent because I always use translucent so I thought I might use a bit of a coloured powder see how it goes nine dollars hopefully it works for me alrighty guys we are done with this haul did you enjoy it have you tried any of these products let me know because I love hearing about makeup if you are new to my channel welcome please subscribe I would love you to join our little YouTube family don't forget to follow me on my social media they'll be linked up here here and down below and pretty much everywhere surrounding your screen um, but yeah guys have a beautiful day night or wherever you are bye